guys, it's Jess from Jess is Blessed and we just got home from the dollar store so I thought I would do a dollar store haul for you guys because people seem to really enjoy them. And I did get quite a bit today. We went for a potty prize for Gunner and ended up uh, leaving with some baskets and three bags full of stuff. So, uh, I normally film from just above and show you guys, but I thought I would do this one a little different and just kind of do it from the side and show you each thing. So, uh, the first thing as we came in, I did get this on video, but this is a back scratcher and it's also a shoehorn, which I don't even know what a shoehorn is. I think it's something to help you like get your foot in shoes, I think, maybe. I'm not sure, but uh, my son loves, Gunner loves scratchy, we call it, and I thought that he would really like this because it looks like a little hand, and so just, you know, little, little scratch. Yeah, that feels pretty good. I'm all about a good back scratch, too, so save this guy. I figured for a dollar, you know, when, when I'm feeling in the mood for a back scratch and nobody's around to scratch my back. My friend. Um, let's see. I got some little bags. So these are for if anyone local buys any of my mama cloth, then I can put them in just a cute little bag. I have some really, really pretty stickers that I'll put on that as well. Then, okay, our dollar store has like a food section and I'm not sure exactly how good the food is. A lot of it's just regular food, just in tiny packages. So like Reese's Puff Cereal or, um, you know, Lay's Potato Chips, just little tiny bags. And so a lot of this stuff is just, you know, regular brands you'd find at the store. But this one is not a brand I've ever seen, but it was just some garlic toast and... I don't know. To I mean, bread is inexpensive anyways, so I figured, like, how bad can it be? It's literally just bread, butter, and spices, so I don't know. We'll see how it is. I, I can smell it through the box. It smells really good, but I'm also starving. I haven't eaten yet today. Um, see, this is an example. They had cake, so this is just regular Pillsbury cake mix, and it was a dollar, and... There was also frosting to go with it. Usually you need a full size thing of frosting. So this was just like a mini size, but the kids liked the sprinkles. So they picked this out and then I said, we'll make sure that you get some cake mix because I'm not sure if we have any at home. So we will be baking that later. Um, other food, um, they have these Cinnabon gooey bites. And I love Cinnabon, but we don't have one within 200 miles of where I live. So this is the next best thing. So we will see. The lady that works there said they're delicious, but nothing's going to beat a real Cinnabon. Um, then just some cheese sticks. It was only a three pack. Yeah, it's real cheese. The only ingredients are milk, salt, enzymes, and color. So it's real cheese. So that's good. Uh, okay, then I've been, my guilty pleasure, I've been watching Amberlynn Reed. And if any of you guys have not seen her, she's a fellow YouTuber who is, she struggles with her weight. And her channel is basically her struggles with weight loss and trying to lose weight and she does vlogs and just all sorts of stuff um however since she started her channel she has just proceeded to gain weight instead of lose weight and so a lot of people kind of view her channel as just kind of um I'm trying to phrase this delicately because I don't want to offend anybody but just people view it as kind of a train wreck and they can't look away and so every now and then I watch her um she eats dove chocolate a lot and so she got me craving dove so I got some. So if you haven't seen Amberlynn Reed, you should check out her channel. Um, then I just got a little pack of Cheez-Its and these are, it's a little four pack. I'm just going to keep these in the car in case the kids want a snack. Okay, 
then this is the most questionable of all the food that I got. And this is bacon. So they had bacon at the dollar store and each package is only five pieces. So I was trying to think like, do the math in my head, how many is in a regular package at the store that's like $6 and what is it normally like, I don't know, 12 pieces or maybe 15 for like $6 ish. So this is like half the price of regular bacon at the store. I just don't know. I know that this is highly questionable. Uh, it was refrigerated and I'm going to get it right into the fridge and I figured we could try and make some BLTs or something and so I will let you guys know how this turns out. And so I think that's all the food. Um, then I got some carpet smelly good stuff. You sprinkle this on your carpet and then you vacuum it up and it smells really good. It smells like island mist, which honestly you would think that island mist wouldn't smell like anything at all because it'd be like fog, right? Or, you know, mist, fog, whatever. It wouldn't really have a scent, maybe just kind of like rain. But this doesn't smell like what I would think island mist smells like at all. But it smells really nice and I think the house will smell really good. And I am one of those people who is like obsessed with keeping my house smelling clean and fresh. I hate, hate when you go to somebody's house and it smells all musky and gross or it just has like a weird scent. You know how everybody's house has their own unique scent and I'm just always afraid that people are going to walk into our house and be like, oh, you know, not that we're stinky people or anything, like not that we smell bad or don't shower. I just... I want our house to smell nice so when people walk in they're like oh your house smells good so I am always on the hunt for smell good stuff for my house so I also got a candle and this is tropical fruit and island breeze so not island mist but island breeze and this oh it smells so good I just hope that it smells as good when I light it but Usually candles do, usually, but it is from the dollar store, so. So, one bag down. Then I got these baskets. I am obsessed with these baskets from the dollar store. I use them to hold cloth diapers. I use them for clean laundry, because we have a little apartment washer, so we have really small loads anyways. Um, but I also use them for toys. I use them to carry beach toys to the beach. Um, just all sorts of stuff. So that's why I like to get a whole bunch of, they're a dollar. And you can use them for all sorts of stuff. Storage, you can just, uh, all sorts of stuff. Recycling. So I just got a bunch, I got three more baskets. But I already have, I don't know, I probably have like five or six of these floating around the house already. But I love them. I use them for everything. Um... Then Jordan, my oldest daughter, saw that I could do calligraphy a couple months ago and she was just dumbfounded that I knew how to do calligraphy. And so I found this book and it's just a really simple book teaching you how to do calligraphy. But I got it for Jordan because I thought she would like that. And you start with just, you know, pin strokes and practicing. And then a lot of it is in the way that you hold the pen and the motions of the pen. And so this is just teaching how to do like the thin strokes and then you turn it and do the wide strokes and then thin and then wide and so on and so forth. Learning to then blend them together and loop them and stuff. So it just teaches you all the way through. And I thought that was so cool for a dollar, even if she doesn't use it, then one of the kids will eventually. Um, a shape learning sticker book for Gunner and he loves these and I love doing these sticker books with him and he's really getting good with all his, he knows all his shapes, he's almost got all his colors and we're working on numbers and letters now. This one's cool too because he can also work on, on uh, drawing the shapes too. So the dollar store is really, here's the stickers, the dollar store is really awesome for activities like this if you have a toddler. Really, really awesome. We have quite a few of these, but we go through them pretty quick. Um, 
Then there's just a little puzzle for a dollar, but this is also great. This is more, I'm gonna have Georgia use this one probably a lot, but hand-eye coordination, learning shapes and colors, just a little train. Um, this was what Gunner picked out, but he already got it out. It was just two little Lego guys. And so he already has that out though, and he's laying down with his new toy. Um, then I got a couple air freshener things. These always remind me of my step grandma. She always had these like in her bathroom and they'd always be all wrinkled up and I was obsessed with playing with them when I was little, like poking them, even though I would get in trouble if I did, but they're just that weird squishy material and then it was scented and so then you could smell it and I don't know. These just remind me of my childhood. I normally don't buy these, but I saw them and I thought, give them a try. Especially because they had Hawaiian Breeze from Glade and that's one of my favorite Glade scents. And so, I, I don't know, just gonna probably throw them in the bathroom. Um, some bath bombs, the babies love bath bombs. And so, throw one of those in their bath and they are happy kids for a couple minutes. <clears throat> and then I got a couple of these little thingies. They thought they were candy at first, but they're not. They're little pom-pom, oh, bonbons. And it's actually, you open it up and it's a little like squishy toy in there. But I like to keep a couple little toys in the basket on top of the fridge. And then if the kids do something really good or need a potty prize or something like that, then I have a few things just ready to go. And so I got a couple of these. I'm actually going to put those put those up there right now so I don't forget. Um, this was Gunner's other potty prize. And he gets prizes now for going number two. Um, but not for number one anymore because he's really, really, totally potty trained with number one. Number two, he still struggles. And so when he's doing really well and going number two in the potty and stuff, then uh, every couple days or whatever, we'll take him and let him pick out a couple small things at the dollar store or one thing at Walmart or something. So this was his other potty prize, a uh, T-Rex. And then this was my potty prize. No, I'm just kidding. A whoopee cushion, which is so much fun. I haven't had one of these in years and I am seriously going to prank my husband with this. I'm really excited. Who doesn't like whoopee cushions? Like for real. I saw that they had them and I was just so excited. Yeah, I haven't had one of these in like 10 years. So yes, I was an adult when I had my last one. Okay, second bag. Um, then I got a sales book and this is just going to be for my cloth pads so that I can keep track of the sales. Um, I do all my billing through PayPal anyways, so there's a record on there, but I like to be able to write things down and so this is just going to be my handwritten copy. <clears throat> And then a couple packages of sticky notes and these are also going to be these are going to be how I organize my cloth pads because right now it's chaos I have a notebook where I write down what because if you think about it you know okay so if you think about it I have stacks and stacks of cloth pads and to keep track of what the what the core is inside of each of these and how many layers it is and what the backer and the topper and if there's a hidden waterproof layer in there, you know, just to keep track of what's in each one of them is a nightmare. So I have it all written down in a notebook and I have them all numbered, but then I have to go back through and find each pad that corresponds with each number. It's just really, really crazy and hectic right now. So what I decided is that I would just Put the number that corresponds with each one so say number 112 is this one then I'll just write number 112 on one of these sticky notes and pin it on here so that if I'm looking for a certain pad or whatever then I can find them easier 
Also, I have four absorbency levels. So I have a panty liner, a light, light medium, a medium heavy, and then a heavy postpartum. So I'm just going to color coordinate them because there's four, four types. So basically this is just going to help me organize my cloth pads better, my cloth pad inventory better. So I'm really excited about this. However, it's going to be a ton of work. I'm still trying to get my Etsy shop up and running and it's just a lot. Like I have my logo designed. I'm getting off on a tangent right now, but yeah, there's a lot to it. So I am working on it. And this is to help better organize. Um, then some little socks for Georgia. I thought those were really cute. I normally don't find socks for the kids that I like at the dollar store, but these ones were really cute. Um, another candle. And this one smells really good too. My husband doesn't like candles though, so I have to light these when he's not around because he doesn't like the way they burn and like, I don't know, he said it, he just, he's never liked them. Um, a spray bottle for my sewing. I need a new water bottle because I burned a hole in my other water bottle with my iron. I may have. <laughs> yeah. So, new water bottle. Thank goodness for the dollar store. Um, this is what Georgia picked out. These were what she picked out because Gunnar got two things. She picked out cones. She loves these. She could sit and stack these forever. And it was two for a dollar, so she got four of them. And I also figured we could <clears throat> take them outside and set them up and do like a little obstacle course for them to ride their bikes through. So I thought that was kind of a fun little find at the dollar store. And the last thing is just another bubble mailer. And I always try and pick up a lot of these because I thought I had some other, <clears throat> I thought I got some other ones, but I must not have gotten them. But yeah, I get a lot of these to mail products in diapers, uh, mama cloth, whatever. So I like to keep a ton of these on hand for when I'm not shipping stuff priority mail. Um, so that is everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this dollar store haul and video. I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. Comment down below and let me know what your favorite thing is to get at the dollar store or what you thought of my haul or any particular product. I do try to get to everybody's comments. I do my very best, but as you guys know, as a mom, my kids, my family always is going to come first, but I do appreciate you guys' comments so, so much, and I try to get to all of them. I do my very, very best. But if I don't get to anybody's comment, please don't take it personal. It doesn't mean that I don't care or that, you know, I don't appreciate your comments. It's just that I'm a super busy, super busy mom. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new here. I always do tons of cloth diapering videos. I do mama cloth, I do vlogs, shopping hauls, I'm trying to branch into more videos as well. So subscribe if you like this video and would like to see more. I would love to have you. Social media links, affiliate links, and Patreon links are in the description box below. Please take a moment to check those out. And until next time, good night, goodbye, and stay blessed.